Hi, I'm Jesse Boyles, and this is my study, Love in a Pandemic. The COVID-19 pandemic has been a huge challenge, not only to those in the United States, but for everyone all around the world. To help stop this disease from multiplying any further than it currently has, there have been a couple things that have been employed by a large number of countries to help slow the sickness, which is social distancing and wearing face masks. In this study, it is hypothesized that empathy as well as a left-leaning political ideology are motivators in implementing these safety protocols. It is found through the 35 people who fully participated in this study that empathy as well as leaning more left politically can be a large motivational factor in those who are using face masks and social distancing. This research offers a good idea of those who are willing to use these two crucial safety precautions during the pandemic we are currently in. COVID-19 has swept across the globe and shaken up the foundation of everyday normal life. Loss has taken hold in many ways during this pandemic. Loss of jobs, schools, businesses, travel, and the worst being loss of life. With this loss, though, comes learning that we need to protect ourselves and others from the ill effects of the disease. But through the crisis of a pandemic, does there come compassion? Do those with empathetic tendencies tend to wear masks and social distance more often than those who do not? People who wear masks and social distance have one key thing that arises consistently, and that is that empathy plays a key role in whether these two things are enforced. Empathy can be defined as an all-encompassing term that captures the spectrum of people's responses to another person's experience. Past research has sufficiently indicated the beneficial consequences of both affective and cognitive empathy for the welfare of others. Botson, 1981, in his study, where he was having participants watch another female undergraduate undergo electric shocks and see if the participant would take the remaining electric shocks if they would let her go tended to have uh, tended to be higher in empathy than those who did not mask wearing in public has been a necessity since the start of the pandemic to help control the spread of the, of the disease it seems like a standard to want to protect yourself and those around you whether you have the virus or not by wearing a simple face covering but there have been people who do not, who have not wanted to follow a simple guideline. They think that it is an invasion of their freedom and believe it does nothing at all to protect themselves and those around them. A study done by Cheng et al. 2020 has shown that by wearing face masks, you can control the spread of the virus by reducing the amount of infected saliva and respiratory droplets in the air, which may reduce the rate of infection from spreading from those infected to non-infected people. So, while people may think that mask wearing does not do much, studies show that it may do more than the naysayers believe. Those adorning a mask seem to be showing unmistakable pro-social behaviors. Those who do wear the mask seem to be more empathetic to those around them, as per a study by Besh et al. 2020, where the people who are more empathetic are more likely to wear a mask, which goes to show that empathy can be used as an indicator for pro-social behavior. Another study done by Fathshire et al. 2020 showed that empathy is an emotional basis that motivates the people who most often wear masks and social distance for those that are most susceptible to COVID-19. When it comes to those with empathy, it seems that mask wearing occurs often for the protection of those around them while wearing a mask is one of the main forms of prevention another is social distancing in a study by lammers et al 2020 uh, they discuss how social distancing is the most effective way to fight covid 19. social distancing is another important safety measure that not only benefits the person but those around them in a study done by favero and Pedersen 2020 they talk about how social distancing is not only good for the person participating, but also shows that they are doing so out of pro-social motivation and empathy for others who are probable of catching COVID-19. 
As per this study, it is fair to say that if you are practicing social distancing when you can, then you are more you are a more empathetic person than those who do not. Past research studies led to the hypothesis of this study that empathy can correlate positively with pro-social behaviors of wearing masks and practicing social distance during the pandemic. Another hypothesis is that those who lean more towards liberalism would be more inclined to practice social distancing and mask wearing than those who leaned more towards conservatism. 36 participants uh, that are recruited are undergraduate students from Eureka, as well as people on different social media platforms, with the majority being females around 22 years old. Those from Eureka got a small amount of extra credit in a college course, and everyone got a chance at a $10 McDonald's gift card for completing the survey. Sample size is based on a a priori uh, power analysis to detect the effect of 30% uh, with high statistical power. Uh, based on this analysis, the aim is to collect 84 participants in the, sam in the sample. A correlational study is conducted to see if there is a relationship between empathy and social distancing and mask wearing, as well as political ideology and social distancing and mask wearing. Questions are asked and measured using Google Forms and JASP. Participants responded to statements on a Likert scale from one to seven, where one is strongly disagree and seven is strongly agree. Pertaining to questions related to COVID-19, like when in public, I wear my mask for other safety and I am cutting back on how often I hang out with my friends. The last thing the participants answered is their political ideology, where one is conservative and seven being modern liberalism or Democrat, to see if there is any correlation between being more right or left-leaning and social distancing and mask wearing. After participants gave their informed consent, they moved on to the robot check to wean out any potential bots. If the participants said no to the consent form or failed the robot check, they are sent to a non-consent form. Participants then went through a series of demographic questions. At the end, participants are thanked given their debrief as well as the option to enter uh, their email on another form for extra credit if they are attending a class where it is offered and entered into a drawing for a $10 McDonald's gift card. Following the idea that physical distancing and mask wearing is motivated by empathy, this study shows a positive correlation between empathy and physical distancing as well as mask wearing as seen on table one. Most of the questions in the survey are related to others well-being instead of the participants own which shows they are taking precautions for empathic reasons. Statements one, when in public, I wear my mask for other, other safety. Two, when in public, I practice social distancing for other safety. Five, I worry about my older family members and those who are immunocompromised. And six, if I'm sick, I stay inside as to not infect others. I'll have a mean score above six out of the possible seven which shows strong agreements to adhering to safety precautions for others over themselves. Every other statement besides statement nine, I do not think COVID-19 is that big of a thing, is above the average score of four. This is strong evidence that people are following safety guidelines for empath empathic reasons. Those more liberal did seem to obey mask wearing and social distancing more often than those who were conservative but not to a strong degree. The mean of those who participated fell slightly above average, which does have some evidence to support the hypothesis that those who are following guidelines are more liberal. While not a major finding, it is one to note this is likely due to the low response rate and may change if the study was ran again. This study has one major finding and a minor finding. The major finding being those who participate in social distancing and wearing a face mask for those who are most at risk have more empathy than those who do not. The minor finding being those who tend to lean more left towards modern liberalism are more likely to social distance and wear a mask in public. Thus, these results show that people are more caring and empathetic 
for others during the pandemic. It also shows that there is slightly, a slightly higher than average chance that those who participate in social distancing and mask wearing are more left-leaning and empathic as the hypothesis stated. This research adds to past literature that empathy gives motivation to safety protocols such as mask wearing and social distancing. Empathy is a strong promoter of pro-social behavior and can provide us with some inspiration to not only think about ourselves but our fellow person. Another thing this research does is that it shows that which side you lean on politically can be a factor on if you participate in the safety procedures given by the government and even fellow human beings. While there are some who lie on the conservative side of the spectrum who participate in the protection of others by adhering to the rules, it seems the liberal folks tend to have more empathy towards those around them. But while there are good findings in the study, there are still some limitations that hold this research back. One of the limitations of this study is that it is underpowered with the lack of participants. It is likely the only reason the effect sizes for political ideology are as large or small as they are due to so few participants. With more time and more people responding to the study, this data would have much more meaning behind it. While it does still have some good data and results, if given the opportunity to run it again, then it would give these results much more significance. Another limitation would be if people are taking these precautions out of egoistic, empathic reasons, or if they are doing so out of pure altruistic, empathic reasons. While empathy captures the full spectrum of people's responses to another person's experience, altruism is focused on caring about another person or person's welfare. It can be a bit of a confounding variable on whether people are wearing masks and social distancing due to purely altruistic purposes or if they're doing it out of egoistic, empath empathetic tendencies. Botson 2011 has discussed and concluded that there are many reasons that empathy is a legitimate altruistic emotion, but this study cannot say in good faith that people may uh, participate in these safety precautions for anyone but themselves for purely egoistic reasons. Nevertheless, these faults do not lessen the impact of the research that was done. If anything, it empathizes how empathy can be used to further the need and current benefit of social distancing and the use of face mask when in public, when around those most susceptible to catching COVID-19. Empathy is a tool that should be embraced more by both sides of the political spectrum and it could be the device we need to give a means to the end of this pandemic.